A Biden administration revenue proposal is causing a stir on social media. The Treasury is asking for the IRS to have access to the amount of money coming in and going out of a taxpayer's account. Some users say the president wants to take away some of our privacy protections. 13 on your side's Morgan Trow is in the Information Center now to verify this claim. And Morgan, what have you learned? Julia, typically when we see emails about money that tell us to click on a link, we want to move it to our spam folder or delete it. But some viewers are worried that banks pleas for help actually show a greater issue with privacy concerns between taxpayers and the government. So let's verify. Our question comes from users online. One person tweeted, if this is true, why does the IRS need to monitor bank accounts with a measly $600 in their account? Our sources for this story are the Treasury's fiscal year revenue proposals. Dr. Neja Seon, financial expert and professor of finance at University of Michigan's Ross's School of Business. And Natasha Sarin, the deputy assistant secretary for economic policy. Is this true or is this a scam? This is true. Basically, if you have $600 in your account, it's going to be reported to the IRS. With the first question verified as true, we can focus on the why. Well, the Treasury's revenue proposal states increased visibility of business income will enhance the effectiveness of IRS enforcement measures and encourage voluntary compliance, meaning they believe the Internal Revenue Service will function better with the additional data and will encourage people to not commit tax fraud. In short, financial institutions will need to report to the IRS the annual amount of money going in and out of your account. Dr. Sayon adds that the IRS will be able to computer audit everyone since they will see how much money is going in and out versus what you reported on your taxes. This makes him worry that the IRS may estimate wrong and those who aren't savvy with finances will just pay what the IRS says they owe. While his concerns are valid, this rule has already been in place in a smaller extent. The Treasury document shows the current law already requires banks to report. In a release by Deputy Assistant Secretary Sarin, she says that using this information will help close the tax gap, which is the difference between taxes owed and collected, which is about $600 billion each year. She adds the proposal doesn't impose any burden on taxpayers whatsoever and targets who the IRS really wants to go after, the billionaires. Republican lawmakers have been vocal against this bill, citing it as the IRS spying on your bank account. This, however, is false. The government will not have access to your direct transactions, just the total inflows and outflows from the account. Seon still thinks it's unfair to even have more access, especially if the everyday person doesn't have numerous accounts with billions of dollars in it. So yes, we can verify that this bill is legitimate, but some of the statements by legislators opposed to the bill have been misleading or exaggerated. This bill is only proposed. It must be approved by Congress. If it is, it will go into place the beginning of 2023. Like always, if you have something you'd like the 13 on your side verify team to look into, send us an email at verify at 13 on your side.com. You can also text the word verify to 616-559-1310.